Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's the Appleton Oak. This is the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, we are jumping both feet back in and returning to Middle Earth once again. Uh, we're going to be doing the Hobbit series here. I have seen them all. These guys have not seen the Hobbits. So, guys, what are you expecting? Well, we... It was a general consensus that we loved, you know, Lord of the Rings. So from a little bit of what he told me, this is how, like, the ring came to be and stuff like that. So I'm actually looking forward to that, looking forward to the backstory and see what all happened beforehand. And I'm hoping we run into some familiar faces that we saw later on in Lord of the Rings trilogy. Just hoping for some top-notch memes. <laughs> 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 From my knowledge of the internet, uh, I don't know if as many. Come on, man! I don't know if as many memes came out of the Hobbits as they did as Lord the of the Rings. Yeah. The Hobbits, he's being that Lord of the Rings uh, release first. Um, another series that my older brothers and my nephews said you have to, you have to watch them. Pre Lord of the Rings, I think my mentality was the same as it was before Lord of the Rings. Not really my thing. Not something I would get into. Now I'm entering um, this new journey. Uh, I would say with a very open mind and um, very highly anticipating these movies, given how much that I loved Lord of the Rings. So uh, I'm very excited. I'm hoping for at least. You know, maybe like one meme per movie, but uh, <laughs> I think you we'll, might we'll, find them in there. We'll, we'll see. I somewhere. guess <laughs> there'll be someone. Yeah, and again, guys, like I said, I'm have been a huge fan of uh, Tolkien's work, and Peter Jackson did an amazing job with Lord of the Rings, and I was so excited when they were finally able to bring all this to life. So, love it. I can't wait to watch it again with these guys. So, without further ado, let's right. go. <laughs> kind of interesting after being on the potter journey for so long to see a different type of mm -hmm. magic and wizardry and you know fantasy type uh filming here oh there's music. the music, there music. <laughs> you asked me once if i had told you everything there was to know about my adventures and while i can honestly say i have told you the truth i may not have told you all of it I am old now, Frodo. I'm not the same hobbit I once was. It began long ago. That handwriting is yeah. impeccable. Yeah. Wow. Insane. There's no quick notes there. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, getting back into it. For this city lay before the doors of the greatest kingdom in Middle Earth, Eric. Wow, that's badass. Thrall ruled with utter surety. Never doubting his house would endure, for his line lay secure in the lives of his son and grandson. That is a handsome dwarf right there. <laughs> wow. The skill of the dwarves was unequaled. Ever they delved deeper down into the dark. And that is where they found it. I got to reiterate, too, how cool it is to see these movies made with modern technology. The Arkenstone. Thrall named it the King's Jewel. He took it as a sign, a sign that his right to rule was divine. But the years of peace and plenty were not to last. Thrall's love of gold had grown too fierce. It's a lot of gold. Yeah. Holy shit. The first they heard was a noise like a hurricane coming down from the north. The pines on the mountain creaked and cracked in the hot, dry wind. Smoke and cut. Smoke! Oh. I recognize that yeah. name. For this city of men was nothing to smog. His eye was set on another prize. Something smog wanted. For dragons covered gold with a dark and fierce desire. Dragons want gold? Mm hmm. No! Erebor was lost. For a dragon will guard his plunder. As long as he lives. Uh, the elves don't seem too nope. impressed with the dwarven greed. Dwarven? Is that dwar dwarven? Dwar dwarven is, I know it's elven. With the dwarf's greed. The greed of the dwarfs. Robbed of their homeland, the dwarves of Erebor wandered the wilderness. And he never forgave. 
and he never forgot. I'm I'm just a little confused as what use a dragon would have for gold if it's not of value as no. some sort of currency. They just desire it. You know. Mm. You see a lot of pictures, dragons always have a horn. Uh, yeah, yep, yep, yeah. yep. And that means good food, a warm hearth, and all the comforts of home. Good to see Elijah Wood again. I was going to say, with it being a prequel, I didn't really expect to see the uh, characters from Lord of the Rings. Uh, Those feet. <laughs> <laughs> they still got the feetsies. <laughs> What's this? It's not ready yet. What on earth are these? Like how Frodo's like a little kid just like going through all yeah. his stuff. <laughs> What on earth are you doing? <laughs> He's hiding everything. <laughs> when I on her after I'm... When you're... What? It's nothing. She's sick? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm at party. You think you'll come? Who? Gandalf. He wouldn't miss a chance to lit off his whiz poppers. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> off to where? East Farthing Woods. I'm going to surprise him. Okay, so that's kind of interesting how they played this little part right here. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? Such remains to be seen. I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. You've changed. And not entirely for the better, Bilbo Beckins. I'm sorry, do I know you? Well, you know my name, although you don't remember I belong to it. I'm Gandalf. Well, that's decided. It'll be very good for you. Inform the others. Inform the who? What? No, no. <laughs> just that look. Wallet. At your service. Do we know each other? Just walks right in. <laughs> no. Is it down here? It is what down where? You said there'd be food. And lots of it. Who said? No, no, <laughs> he's eating his fish. Fallon. At your service. Am I late? Late for what? <laughs> Oh, he's trying to get more food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gets me every time. I don't know either of you. Not in the slightest. Oh, now fill it up, brother. Don't stint. <laughs> Feely. And Keely. At, At your, your service. service. No, nope, you can't come in. You come to the wrong house. <laughs> Has it been cancelled? No, nothing's been cancelled. That's a relief. That's my mother's glory box. He just keeps <laughs> kicking it. <laughs> <laughs> Scraping the mud off his boots. Go away and bother somebody else. If, if this is some lotheads idea of a joke, <laughs> I can only say it is in very poor taste. Oh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why does one hobbit have this much food sitting around in the first place? It's probably like a, a year's worth of his food stores. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Didn't he do that in the first movie too? Same chandelier. <laughs> you have to be one dwarf short. He traveled north to a meeting of our kin. He will come. My dear Google, <laughs> what on earth is the matter? What are they doing here? Oh, they're quite a merry gathering. Use it here. Oh. Gandalf. I lost my way twice. I wouldn't have found it at all had it not been for that mark on the door. Mark? There's no mark on that door. It was painted a week ago. There is a mark. I put it there myself. Bilbo Baggins, allow me to introduce the leader of our company, Sorin Oakenshield. So, this is the Hobbit. Okay. Oakenshield? Is that, is that what yeah. you got all excited about? <laughs> Somebody made a comment uh, about that, that they're waiting for you to... <laughs> Oakenshield? <laughs> I, I see a lot of resemblance. <laughs> I can't grow a beard like that. Or have that much hair. <laughs> well, I was going to say the head of hair. What news from the meeting in Arid Lewin? Did they all come? Aye, envoys from all seven kingdoms. Ah, well, what do the dwarves of the Iron Hill say? They will not come. They say this quest is ours, and ours alone. Single solitary peak. 
Oin has read the portents, and the portents say it is time. Ravens have been seen flying back to the mountain as it was foretold when the birds of yore return to Erebor. The reign of the beast will end. What beast? And the greatest calamity of our age. Oh, so I yeah. think um, Smog's getting ready to bail or, or pass away or what? It's kind of what they're thinking. We may be few in number, but we're fighters. All of us. To the last war! And you forget we have a wizard in our company. Gandalf will have killed hundreds of dragons in his time. Oh, well, no. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, uh, easy, easy. The front gate is sealed. There is no way into the mountain. That, my dear Marlin, is not entirely true. Yeah, you remember, you have a wizard. Oh, look, he's got the oh, key. Oh, look okay. who has a key. Just happened to have... It was lying around. These runes speak of a hidden passage to the lower halls. Well, if we can find it, the dwarf doors are invisible when closed. Hobbits are remarkably light on their feet. In fact, they can pass unseen by most if they choose. And while the dragon is accustomed to the smell of dwarf, the scent of a hobbit is all but unknown to him, which gives us a distinct advantage. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> He's like, you can shut up any time now. The world is not in your books and maps. It's out there. That's a great That point. I've seen on multiple quotes on the internet. <laughs> the world is not in your books and maps. Yeah. I didn't know it came from The Hobbit, though. I've go. seen that all over. <laughs> the world is not in your books and your maps. No kidding. Yeah. That's what this is from? Huh. You'll have a tale or two to tell of your own when you come back. Can you promise that I will come back? That's what I thought. You've got the wrong hobbit. The misty mountains cold. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking it out. Yeah. The place looks clean. Witnessed a burglar <laughs> not signed. <laughs> All right. What? Changed on. his mind. He says, why, why he... not? Let's go. Let's do it. Wait. He caught up. <laughs> I signed it. Welcome, Master Baggins. Give him a pony. <laughs> No, 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 that, that won't be necessary. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure I can keep up. On foot, I'm a fair share of How would you, why would you say no to writing anything that... <laughs> 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 he's a natural. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He knows what he's doing. Oh, Those. Oh, I was going to say, don't Orcs. worry about them. Orcses. Orcses. <laughs> you think that's funny? You think a night raid by orcs is a joke? We didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, what's his deal? Is he a dwarf too? Mm -hmm. just, just ultra handsome dwarf <laughs> yeah. with no enlarged <laughs> facial features or what? After the dragon took the lonely mountain, King Thror tried to reclaim the ancient dwarf kingdom of Moria. Azok, the defiler. He began by beheading the king. Oh, Jesus. No! Stood alone against this terrible foe. Armor rent, wielding nothing but an oaken branch as a shield. That dude's got some nasty battle scars, oh. huh? Oh! Huh. Oh! Took it right off. Oh! <laughs> Our enemy had been defeated. And the pale orc slunk back into the hole whence he came. That filth died of his wounds long ago. Ooh, did you see that look on Gandalf's Gandalf. face? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. maybe he has not. Gardor Pier. Oh, so they've been looking for this dude. Uh, keeping an eye out. 
Move back, you move some air, for goodness sake. Just trying a bunch of remedies. Trying everything. Where on this good earth did those foul creatures come from? The old fortress. Show me. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this a sled team of rabbits? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be really fast if yeah. they get enough horse. Yeah. Well, rabbit power going. Very, very agile, too. What's the matter? We're supposed to be looking out for the ponies. Only we've encountered a slight problem. We had 16. Now there's 14. Oh, what happened? It's our official burglar. We thought... You might like to look into it. I rooted these trees. That was our thinking. There's something very big. What is it? Trolls. Come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, is he going to lure the trolls with food, maybe? <laughs> He's just walking <laughs> with the ponies. We have to do something. Yes, you should. Mountain trolls are slow and stupid, and you're so Me, small no, they'll never see no, you. No, no. It's perfectly safe. We'll be right behind you. He's a sheep. He's his west name. I don't like wolves. I never have. Not enough fat on them. How hard is that? <laughs> Just need to sprinkle a squirrel <laughs> dung. Squirrel <laughs> dung? Oh my god. That's what I like, no cook. Oh, <laughs> His eyes. <laughs> but I don't like the way it wriggles around. What are you then? An oversized squirrel? I'm a burglar. A uh, hobbit. A burglar hobbit? Can we cook him? We can try. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, no. Are there any more of you little fellas hiding where you shouldn't? Look. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Oh. Uh, oh. You walk. Oh, there we go. Stick and move, boys. <laughs> Stick and See move. these guys in action. Are their swords doing any damage? Not really. Doesn't really look oh. like it. Go, go, go. Oh. Lay down your arms, or we'll whip his off. Just sit on him and squash him into jelly. It's all of them? Uh, well, it's some of them. Yeah. The ones are back in sack. Yeah. We ain't got all night. Wait! You are making a terrible mistake. You can't reason with them. They're half wits. What about the season? Well, have you smelt them? You're going to need something stronger than sage before you plate this lot up. <laughs> what do you know about cooking dwarf? Shut up. Let the uh, Flurgerberber hobbit talk. <laughs> Come on. It's, uh, Tell us the secret. Yeah, yes, to skin them first. <laughs> <laughs> Nice and crunchy. <laughs> uh, no, not, not that one. He, he's infected. Yeah, he's got worms in his tubes. <laughs> <laughs> he's got worms in his tubes. In, in fact, they all have. They're infested with parasites. It's a terrible business. I wouldn't risk it. I really wouldn't. Yeah, we don't have parasites. <laughs> you have parasites. <laughs> I've got parasites as big as my arm. One of the biggest parasites. <laughs> <laughs> What would you have us do then? Let them all go? Well... You think I don't know what you're up to, this little ferret? Dawn will take you all! Who's that? No idea. Can we eat him too? Oh! They turned to stone, I'm guessing, in the sunlight, the old mountain trolls. Yep. They mentioned it. Sure, it's the whole time. It's not just during the day. No, they, uh, one of you guys might want to correct me, but I'm pretty sure they show the trolls in the first, uh, Lord of the Rings journey when they're walking through. 
Where did you go to, if I may ask? To look ahead. What brought you back? Looking behind. Still, you're all in one piece. No thanks to your burglar. He had the nows to play for time. None of the rest of you thought of that. <laughs> yeah, until you kicked Killy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. It's a shame just to leave a liar. They got a little bit of gold, huh? These swords are not made by any troll. Careful what you touch. Yeah, they've been touching everything. Huh. These are forged in Gondolin. Here. This is about your size. I can't take this. The blade is of elvish make, which means... It will glow blue when orcs or goblins. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's, yep. that's the one. True courage is about knowing not when to take a life, but when to spare one. Is it me? Yeah! Fire! Radagast! Radagast, run! <laughs> what on earth are you doing here? I saw him bad. Has come. The rabbit with the tap and his foot getting all fired up. <laughs> Is that Thumper? <laughs> How many rabbits would you have to have to pull a slab oh with a person on it? <laughs> I think you could probably mathematically figure it out. This is going to bother me. <laughs> Drop a comment below. <laughs> Was that a wolf? Are there, are there wolves out there? Wolves? No, that is not a wolf. Oh! <laughs> Work, Scout! Which means an orc pack is not far behind. What in Doris' name is going on? You are being hunted. I'll draw them off. These are Gundabad Wags. They will outrun you. These are Roscabel rabbits. I'd like to see them try. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Roscabelle rabbits! <laughs> oh, the, the old Roscabelle <laughs> rabbits. Kostain, Hari, Skurunar! Who's this now? Are these the elves? Elves. I cannot see where the pathway leads. Do we follow it or no? We follow it, of course. So they're not going to go out and say, hey, yeah. appreciate the, uh, <laughs> Thanks the for bailout. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Or it goes there. The Valley of Imladris. In the common tongue, it's known by another name. Rivendell. 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 It's not the oh. first time we've seen Rivendell, is it, boys? All right, everybody, just relax. <laughs> We're all on the same team here, sort of. Everybody, just relax. Ooh. Gandalf. Hey. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Something or someone has drawn the me. Funny you mention. That may have been us. <laughs> Welcome, Thorin, son of Thrain. You have your grandfather's bearing. Indeed. I made no mention of you. Does he offer our sense No, Master Gloyle, he's offering you food. Well, well, we're hungry. Uh, well, in that case, lead on. <laughs> <laughs> Our business is no concern of elves. For goodness sake, Sorin, show him the map. Your pride will be your downfall. Show it to Lord Elrond. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, right thought there. I thought they were talking amongst themselves. <laughs> It's like, you know, I'm right here, guys. Yeah, I, can, uh, <laughs> I can hear you guys. I'm <laughs> right here. I'm uh, three feet away. I actually went. Gandalf minutes. trusts you. Yeah. I trust you. It would seem you were meant to come to Rivendell. 
Fate is with you, Thorin Oakenshield. Same uh, moon see. shines upon us tonight. What are the wow. odds? That is... Wow, just... I mean... Every dr- <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna... After this, he should go to Vegas. So this is your purpose, to enter the mountain. What of it? There are some who would not deem it wise. You are not the only guardian to stand watch on the Middle Earth. It is not me you must answer to. Uh-oh, I think I know who we're going to see here. There she is. Lady mm. Galadriel. Mithrandi. I've no idea Lord Elrond had sent for you. He didn't. I did. Oh. Oh, oh boy. What, are we cool with this guy right now still? Oh. Well, they don't know anything yet. 60 years prior. So yeah. yeah. Gandalf, the enemy is defeated. Sauron is vanquished. He can never Sauron. Be for his and so I thought too. But... Radagast has seen. Radagast? Do not speak to me of Radagast the Brown. <laughs> He's a <laughs> foolish fellow. Not a lot of respect <laughs> going out his way. No. You carry something. It came to you from Radagast. He found it in Dol Guldur. Yes. You think uh, you'd be like, I know uh, what's Bil- going on between you two, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> yeah, Bilbo's got it right now. <laughs> That's a, that's a lot of walking for the dwarves. You know, everybody knows they're natural sprinters. <laughs> Not so good over long distance. <laughs> this is no thunderstorm. It's a thunder battle. Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> the legends are true. Giants. Storm giants. Oh, what? <laughs> they, they're just going to deal with flying rocks? Oh, <laughs> what? Right in the dome. Oh, this is not good. Oh, they are on one. Are they on one? Don't tell me. Transform. Oh, it's like Megatron. <laughs> the eye. It's huge. Oh, oh headbutt. Oh, headbutt. Oh, I forgot that part. I thought they made it. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, you could just be stuck on one. Where's Bilbo? Where's the hobbit? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just, just hanging out. <laughs> Look at his <laughs> face. I mean, <laughs> he's like... I thought we lost our burglar. He's been lost ever since he left home. He should never have come. Oh, Whoa! Uh, easy now, uh, guy. You, let's just take it easy. You guys yeah. just uh, went through a very traumatic experience. Yeah. Now's not the time. Save you from the trolls. Where do you think you're going? Back to Rivendell. No, you can't turn back now. Eh? You're part of the company. You're one of us. I'm not though, am I? Thorin said I should never have come, and he was right. I don't know what I was thinking. You're homesick. I understand. No, you don't. You don't understand. None of you do. You're dwarves. You're used to, to, to this life, to living on the road, never settling in one place, not belonging anywhere. Oh, oh. Ouch, bro. Because they don't have a home. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. <clears throat> no, you're right. We don't belong anywhere. What's that? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. And it is glowing bright. Bright blue. They gotta be real close. Wake up! Wake up! Uh, what was that? Uh. Look out! Look out! What is this? It's like like mini orcs? Orc trap. Rooks or goblins? Oh, they're all getting captured, aren't they? Oh, no. Ah, oh, there's no. a sneaky Bilbo. How did he just get out of that? Just like Gandalf said, he's so small they won't even notice him. Ugh, that <laughs> one's gonna 
a mullet. That's an ugly <laughs> one. Oh. Oh, Bilbo's doing pretty good there. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, jeez. This day's getting uh, even worse. Yeah. <sighs> what is this? Who would be so bold as to come armed into my kingdom? Ugh. <laughs> oh. Look at that neck thing he's got going on. What are you doing in these parts? Very well. If they will not talk, we'll make them squawk. Bring up the mangler. Bring up the bone breaker. Start with the youngest. Wait. Well, well, well. Thorin, son of Thrain, son of Thor, king under the mountain. Oh, but I'm forgetting you don't have a mountain. I know someone who would pay a pretty price for your head. Just a head. <laughs> Nothing attached. Send word to the pale orc. Tell him I have found his prize. What? Just what is this guy <laughs> laughing? <laughs> Wait a minute. Who is it? What? <laughs> is this our boy? He's back. Or he's here. He's, 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 he's before. He's before. <laughs> he's... Oh, oh! 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 The ring. Yep. Master. Goblins. 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 That's not an orc. It's oh, I guess they're, they're old bones. Goblins. goblins so too. this cave is goblins. Yeah. Oh, these aren't. That was the Goblin King. Oh, rat them out yeah, to the orcs. Ugly, yeah. ugly orcs or something. Okay, so these are all goblins. Blesses and splashes, precious. That's a meaty mouthful. <laughs> Stay back. I'm warning you. Don't come any closer. I don't want any trouble. Do you understand? Yes, and I want to get unlost as soon as possible. Oh, we nurse. We know safe paths for our missus. Safe paths. <laughs> <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> I don't know what your game is, but I... Jones! <laughs> We love dolls, doesn't it, Precious? Does it like dolls? Does it? Does it? I, w I want to play. Just, just, just you and me. Just, just, just us. <laughs> <laughs> you showed me the way out. Yes. 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 And if he loses, we're done. Every eats it. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty white horses on a red hill. First they champ, <laughs> then they then they stand still. <laughs> it's wind. Of course it is. Very clever. Box without hinges, key, or or lid. Yet golden treasure inside is hid. Axles! Axles! <laughs> Red to axles. We have one for you. All things. It devours birds, beasts, trees, flowers, gnaws iron, bites steam, grinds hard stones to memory. Time's up. The answer is time. Actually, it wasn't that hard. Last question. Hi. 
god. In my pocket. It's no fair. <laughs> it's no fair. What's he done to Rose? <laughs> Frost the rock. You said ask me a question. Well, that is my question. What have I got in my pocket? Let's give us three. Three guesses. <laughs> well, guess away. Rose. Ah. Guess again. No. Oh, shut up! Wrong again. <laughs> Last guess. Strange! Or nothing. Two guesses at once. Wrong both times. What has he got in its pockets? What has he got in its nasty little pockets? <gasps> he knows! <laughs> Yeah, he knows. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I know that sword. It is the Goblin Cleaver. Oh, look who decided <laughs> to show up to the party. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> Take up arms. Right. Oh, Gandalf's uh, gonna go to uh, town. Uh. <laughs> it's ours. Oh, he has it on uh, for the first time. Yeah. Totally by accident, or was it? Oh, oh he's back. This guy. You thought you could escape me. What are you going to do now, wizard? No! 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 That'll do it. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> what? Where's the way out? Let's remember what Gandalf, Gandalf said Gandalf before. Told him, yeah. Oh, he figured it out. <laughs> would have been a pretty different movie if he would have followed through with that. That Martha. That makes sense. Where is your hobbit? Where is our hobbit? Cast the halfling. Now he's lost? I thought he was with Dory. Don't blame me. But where did you last see him? Tell me. I'll tell you what happened. Master Baggins saw his chance and he took it. He has thought of nothing but his soft bed and his warm heart since first he stepped out of his door. He is long gone. Mm. Well, we'll see about we'll that. We'll see how that goes. No. He isn't. <laughs> Ah, I've never been <laughs> there the that. whole time. Oh, indeed. Uh oh. Did he see the ring? He saw the ring, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. Caught a glimpse of it. Why did you come back? I know you doubt me. I know, I know, I know you always have. See, that's where I belong. That's home. That's why I came back. Cause you don't have one. A home. It was taken from you. But I will help you take it back if I can. Oh, look at that. Nice. Way to give the speech. Rub, <laughs> rub it in his face. <laughs> Wait, what happened to him? That's why he wears a hat. <laughs> Run! Remembering the meme now? I just remembered <laughs> one meme. One meme from this movie. Which I will share later. <laughs> <laughs> Got some action going on here. It, it just clicked. <laughs> oh, oh! Dog time, Timber! Time! He's seeing him for the first time. Lose the guy. God, he is cut oh. off from a lot of battles, isn't he? Oh, 
Now we're just throwing <laughs> flaming pine cones at the dogs. <laughs> she got the hose! <laughs> oh! He's gonna try to take this guy on. Saving the day again. <laughs> oh, they all made it off yeah. the tree. Oh, it's the eagles. <laughs> Our good buddies, the eagles. I hate to go back to the discussion we had in the original one. <laughs> oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Don't do it. <laughs> don't. <laughs> <Is> this... <laughs> Couldn't the eagles just fly them to where they're going? <laughs> hey, you guys mind uh, giving us a ride? They're, now, not, clearly... they're not a taxi service, Oak. <laughs> now, clearly in the first, well, you know what, we'll wait. <laughs> that still would have been an unexpected journey for the Hobbit. <laughs> Alright. Bilbo is here. It's quite safe. What were you doing? You nearly got yourself killed. Did I not say that you would be a burden? That you would not survive in the wild. And you had no place amongst us. I have never been so wrong. No man. Ah! <laughs> I was just gonna say it. What the hell? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah! All right. The last of the great dwarf kingdoms of Middle Earth. Uh, it's still, <laughs> it's still <laughs> a pretty it's still a good height. ways away. But, you know, with uh, a straight <laughs> shot on the on the, uh, the back of an eagle. Guys, go easy on him, please. It's <laughs> 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 first time watcher <laughs> here. Look, yeah. at, look at that bird. Just, just. Right on over. Oh, it's a lot of gold. <laughs> what? Oh. Pretty sure that's why they didn't want to go there. Oh, and he's oh, awake. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the eagles were like, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, that's about as far as we go. Uh, you guys mind if we, uh, we're just going to drop you off right here? <laughs> You'll be good. Uh, you guys, you know, take it easy on the rest of the way in. All right, guys, Lord wow. of the Rings. I should say The Hobbit, rather. The prequel to The Lord of the Rings. Gosh, it gets better every time I watch it. And it was it was a blast watching it with you guys. How many um, times have you seen this now, uh, would you say? Uh, I mean, not a ton. You know, not like 100 or anything like that. But, you know, maybe... <laughs> like how that's, not anything, you know, not anything like crazy. No, like, nothing like crazy. Thousand. But, you know, maybe, I don't know, six, seven times, whatever. Okay. I've probably yeah. seen it. But, uh, you know, so much fun to watch. And it's so much fun to watch with two guys who haven't seen it, who have seen Lord of the Rings. I, You guys probably caught me, but I'd be kind of watching them every now and then <laughs> to see, like, what stuff they might be catching. And like, probably the biggest one was when I knew uh -huh, Smeagol well, was coming out. Oh, I knew oh, they'd God. love that. Oh, well, so that was... I was really waiting for that uh, to happen. And, of course, uh, the little bit of the reveal of Smaug that we got to see. Uh, for my money, one of the best, no, the best dragon ever done in movies ever is, I think, Smaug. And we can talk that out in the comments if you guys want. But, again, this one I thought it really benefited from advances in technology and CGI and that sort of thing. Um, I, I was explaining to uh, some of the other guys that I liked it how our our characters felt like a, a tighter group 
Whereas in Lord of the Rings, everybody was kind of spread out doing different things. And I think for somebody who maybe hasn't read the books or isn't as uh, far into the Tolkien mythology, maybe the, the Hobbit series is a little bit easier to watch because everything is kind of together a little bit more. Uh, so I thought that helped, but yeah, I absolutely love this series. Um, some people throw a little shade at it. They say they don't like it. Um, I'd love to hear in the comments why maybe some of you folks don't like it as much or not like it at all. I've heard that as well, uh, but I absolutely loved it. Uh, we'll do the uh, the ratings afterwards. Um, you guys can go well, ahead. I, and take I it can away. see why you'd say maybe that because I think they like the how, how diverse the characters were, and you had the halfling, you had the elf, you, you know, all journeyed together, yeah. the dwarf. And then probably, you know, they loved Elijah Wood and Rudy and then the other two with all their shenanigans. So it might have been more of that as a package. Love that we just call him Rudy. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> Sean, ah, not yeah. Samwise, not Sean Samwise. Just Rudy. And enough Rudy. What would you think of The Hobbit? <laughs> so anyways, no, but I, so I can see where they're coming from. But this, uh, is, like, I kind of would have liked to have actually just watch this first before the previous really thing. you think so kind of go in chronological order because i think it would have been kind of fun that way mm. but i am happy that I, we did watch the original lord of the rings and come back to this um but yeah as far as like there's the advances i do like that it is just a strict story though just on on baggins just to see what shenanigans he got into prior to getting the ring so then we see him getting the ring the interaction obviously oh come on that was the best uh, uh, how you kept that a secret from us <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i absolutely loved it and i i really did enjoy this um especially getting all the behind the scenes and then behind the scenes behind the you know curtain as to what is all transpiring to go into the trilogy and then like you know, seeing things, they're like, oh, I remember that from the first. Oh, I yeah, that. like so the that trolls. Was, and That was always else, fun to yeah. see. So I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, your, your rating? We're going to go with the ratings right off the bat. I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with a four, six okay. out of five answers. I, Cause I'm hoping that it builds from here. I, it, I still don't think it's as good as the original three as usual, but I did really enjoy it and really like the story. All right. I'm going to disagree with Andrew a little bit on wishing that he had seen these before yeah. the three. And the reason why is I understand the continuity of wanting to follow the story as it goes. But I think the reason why so many movie franchises do an origin story is because it's it's fun to tell part of the story. And then you're like, well, well, how did they get started? Well, funny you should ask. This is how they got started. And then when you're watching the origin story stuff that you already know then makes more sense like oh that's how that got started or that's how that got happened so it's definitely in in some uh i guess in some storylines fun to watch it as it happens chronologically but i think there's a, a reason that a lot of the times they do the origin story is because you fall in love with these characters in these films but some of them don't always let you know how they how they get started yeah. you know i mean even um you know when we think about the um the batmans with christian bale i mean you know we never really knew in the original batmans i mean we knew that we had money and stuff like that yeah. but so sometimes the origin stories can can be a lot of fun um as far as this particular oh, movie knowing that it was um part of uh you know a, a three another three-part series I think um, this was a really good start to it. Uh, I know with the Lord of the Rings movies, you know, the first one was a lot about setting the story up, um, you know, really building yeah. a foundation for Absolutely. the next two. And I very much felt like this um, was the same as well. I agree with uh, Andrew that this definitely felt like a tighter knit group, but I think it's, mm -hmm. I think it's a no brainer. It's because they're all dwarves. Yeah, and, you know, you have twelve dwarves, and then, or rather, thirteen dwarves, and then you know Bilbo and um, and Gandalf. So th they're a tighter group who knew each other. So naturally, uh, there's going to be a little bit better relationship there. There's really not any conflict among the dwarves. I think really. And the only conflict when they're about to get eaten by the mountain trolls. And it's like, yeah, no, we've, uh, we, we got parasites. We got parasites. <laughs> that seems to be the only conflict, but definitely a fun story. I really liked um, 
you know, seeing Smeagol, you know, and this is where I talk about how the origin story was fun. We got we got a pretty fair amount of Smeagol in the Lord of the Rings movies, but the, the first time you see it, you're like, yeah! yeah. Not quite as haggard as, uh, as um, yeah. you know, was in the, in the Lord of the Rings yeah. movies, but definitely fun. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, Quinn, as soon as I brought up the Eagles, <laughs> uh, like, so, so for you guys who followed along, um, and, and anybody who's a Lord of the Rings fan, when when we got done watching the first movie, or the the third one, um, Return the of the show. King, yeah. um, I was like mind blown. I'm like, oh my god, this was so awesome. And I think Quinn had <laughs> brought up like, yeah, some people say, why didn't the Eagles just fly him all the way to <laughs> the Mordor? Mordor? And I was like, oh, I was like, you just ruined it. <laughs> you ruined the whole thing. And then of course I went back and like. We left, and I'm like watching, and we're talking about it. Um, people are like, "Well, you know, they yeah, would have the, the Eagles was, would have been seen coming. They wouldn't have just been able yeah, to fly straight so in." Bad. He he um, understands why we don't have to rehash. Yeah, so I why understand they, why. I understand why the Eagles just couldn't fly him right into mortar. But what I saw there, it was just like that flashback. That's they're, right there. They're riding on the Eagles, and I'm like. Hey, it's a, you know, and then like, okay, it's close, but it's still a pretty good hike. Yep. And then it's like, or maybe the Eagles are like, yeah, yes. you know, uh, we hear there's a dragon there. I don't know if the Eagles know or they can smell mm. or there's just some bad, you know, bad juju yeah. coming yeah. out of that mountain. Um, yeah, but they, that they, was, they, they also might have just known for so long not to go anywhere near there that yeah. they just know better. Or they like, were like, yeah, you know what? Gonna uh, risk it. We saved you. This is close. <laughs> good enough. Uh, good luck the rest Do of the way. Do your thing. You guys handle the red dragon. <laughs> yeah. But definitely, definitely a fun story for me. You know, when uh, as uh, the people who watched the original series know, I was I never, I never watched any of them just because I was like, eh, this isn't my thing. And so going into the first Lord of the Rings, I was a little hesitant. And um, it was the second one that really won me over. But now knowing how high a quality these movies are yeah. and how epic of a story it is, I definitely went into this one with with excitement yeah. not not just an open mind but i went in with excitement where if i'm being honest the first lord of the rings movie i went in like here we guess, go i guess we're i guess we're watching this movie now <laughs> 20 years of of t- deflecting these movies and my nerd <laughs> brothers are gonna be so happy that i watched this one finally um uh. but no so i went into this one excited i thought it was really good the storyline was really good i liked that it was kind of like the origins story although i know it's um it's not necessarily how it is how were yeah. the if and and quinn maybe you can answer this how were the the books written were the books written your three lord of the rings movies yeah, the, and uh, the hobbit or were the hobbit written before yeah lord I, of the rings? if i recall correctly guys the hobbit came out first and then it was the lord of the rings trilogy um, i'm not an expert enough to speak on if okay. tolkien had the whole world in his head already and how he was going to do it but uh, that's my understanding, and I really hope I'm right because I get nervous when I'm put on the spot about facts. But I'm pretty sure The <laughs> Hobbit came out he, first. He doesn't want like the hardcore fans. Yeah. And I'm just going to – and yeah. you guys can you know k- kick my butt in the comments or not. But if uh, I'm wondering if if the books – the Hobbit books were written first and then the Lord of the Rings yeah, books came out. That's how I understand Maybe that. they felt like, okay, we have some epic stories, but – why don't we do these Lord of the Rings as movies and then see if it works and, and then, then it went over so huge like obviously. hey if, if people love these then we can go back yep. and tell the origin stories but we have two kind of separate journeys which should we turn into movies first uh, of course both of them um, both of them did phenomenal you guys drop a comment below and on Quinn I'm going to turn back to you as far as um, and I know we still have two more to go but as far as the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit as let's say they were standalone trilogies which did fans generally like more or was it kind of equal yeah, they, would you say it, generally people seem to like the lord of the rings trilogy better i know uh some of the complaints were that you know because the hobbit was a relatively short book no spoilers yeah i won't no spoilers, no spoilers. but uh, <laughs> a lot of people felt it was maybe stretched out a little too bit that the hobbit was and maybe it wasn't necessarily needed to have three movies but i disagree because i absolutely loved the movies um but I think you have to be able to separate the source material from what you're getting in the movies. And the movies. And be like, look, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. If Peter Jackson and company want to throw us a few extra bones and, you know, uh, expand on the, the world of Middle Earth, I'm totally fine with it. You yeah, know? And I think that's always a challenge to when you're making movies out of books is 
you know, there's there's so often I think the norm is you see things cut from the movies that are in the books, mm. um, and once in a while things are added, and you have your your purists who want the the, yeah. the movie to be a, a you know a mirror reflection of the book, and you know then you have people who are like myself who are just going in for entertainment. So if there's you know if there's um, some some gaps or some places where the books or the movies aren't necessarily parallels. Um, I'm okay with that as long as I'm enjoying the experience. But mm-hmm. I'm guessing for you know the people who read the books and you know for for years and years were yeah. fans of the books before the movies came out. I can certainly understand some frustrations if the movies added or or, or didn't include yeah. certain things from the books. But overall, um, I thought it was a fun movie. I'm gonna go four. I wasn't um, you know I was mind blown when we watched the the two, two towers. towers. I mean just. <sighs> And then Return of the King, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. And I feel like this is very much like the first Lord of the Rings, again, where it's telling stories. Mm -hmm. We had some fun action scenes, what battles with the orcs, of course, trying to escape the goblins. Yeah. (laughs) Um, uh, Smeagol. But to me, it wasn't like this movie wasn't a Two Towers or Lord of the Rings, or excuse me, Return of the King caliber. So I'm going to give it a solid four answers. And uh, I'm really excited for the next one. Yeah, and for me, I'll go with a uh, four and a half out of five answers. Uh, I think only because I do know what is to come a little bit. So I'd be remiss if I put it to the moon right away. But again, I mean, for a lot of you folks out there who are probably just like me, you know, I'm old enough to where I was introduced to these books in like the third grade, I think. And to have to wait so many years <laughs> for it to be put on film so that I could have this, you know, obviously you read the books and yeah, it's very powerful. You paint an image, but... you know, with your imagination, but to have it brought to life the way it was, I mean, everybody talks about how amazing that was. It's awesome. When Lord of the Rings movies were announced, did they announce Lord of the Rings and Hobbit at the same time? No. Or was it after the Lord of the Rings movies had already come out that you found out that they were going to then make Hobbit yeah. movies? I found out after because I, I believe uh, the first Hobbit here was, was, was it 2012? 2012. Yeah, so I mean, there's a, a fair uh, amount of time in between when they did it. But yeah, I didn't know that they were going to do what, a Okay, so this movie. was 2012. What yeah. was what was Return, Return of the, the King? King. Uh, well, there it's scroll on it once. Uh, 2003. 2003. Wow. So there was nine years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There was nine years in between Return of the King yeah. and the Hobbit movies. And wow. Yeah. And I mean, and, and it's funny because I know there's there's bits and pieces of each story and movie that people like and, and different things. And it was just great to have that that whole world kind of put together. And I mean, I'm, I'm guessing a, this was there was probably two years of filming for something like oh, that. Oh, I would. Yeah, and, and I don't know like all the filming if they if they did it all in one shot like they did uh, the Lord of the oh, Rings trilogy or not. I, I don't been, know that. I mean, there could you could have had a gap of, you know, it could have had three yeah. four years of filming. So, but you yeah. still had a gap. But of yeah, a they, few years. They either pretty way. much came out every year, I believe. The, yeah. the Hobbit trilogy from I, is from what I saw. It was 12, yeah, 13, 12, and 13, and fourteen. What a yeah. fun ride! Again, um, <sighs> reg- regret. Uh, that's the theme that I've had from the Lord of the Rings. And then, of course, you guys saw the Harry Potter movies, which are amongst, like, my favorite. Oh, what a, what a weird, what a weird, like, twist. Um, but now these movies, uh, again, um, I don't always, you know, when, I, when we watch movies, sometimes it's like, okay, you see these movies and, like, I'm fine, glad I watched it. But again, this was another movie where just the the, the nature of the, the cinematography and stuff makes me definitely regret not having seen it in the theaters. And it is uh, definitely going to be on my list if it's re-released. So, a fun movie. Absolutely. Really excited about the next two coming up. Oh, can't wait to see Smoke. Well, there you have it. We watched the first one, of first of the second trilogy of Lord of the Rings lore with The Hobbit. So, for the Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I am, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.